hello youtube and today i'm just going to show you how to validate an ip address using google guava google guava basically as uh from ref referenced from uh, wikipedia is an open source set of common libraries for java mainly developed by google engineers oh google is so big all right um so uh, i can use google guava to validate things like IP addresses or maybe TCP IP URIs uh, the URI strings and stuff like that uh, it's not the only commons library that can you can use there's also Apache Commons validator uh, it's another library that you can use to validate IP addresses but today I'm just going to show you how to validate an IP address using um using um uh, the Google Guava right using Google Guava sorry about that using Google Guava so basically this is the application that I've created the GUI of an application that I've created and the only validation that is present for the time moment is that of uh, checking if there is something entered in the text box otherwise nothing is happening so what happens is uh, when you download the Google Guava when you download the Google Guava jar you can just go here and type uh, download Google Guava jar Google Guava Jar, right? Like so. Download Google Guava Jar, and then you can select the one that you want to download from the site that you want to download, java2ys.com, and download the zip here. The zip contains the jar file as well as the sources, the binary file, and the sources file, where the sources file contains the Java doc. All that is not so much important right now. What is important is uh, showing you how to validate. Uh, so in my description I'm just going to show you to give you uh the link to the descri to the to the documentation of a uh, Google Guava library, right? Don't get it twisted. So um from the documentation the method that I really want to use is a Boolean method that returns uh, that you can use maybe to return a string or something. You can find a way of coding through that. I believe you know you're coding whether Java or whatsoever language that you understand but this library works uh, for Java so is INS address it returns true if the supply string if the supply string is a valid IP string literal false otherwise that means if somebody enters uh, the IP in a valid IP address it will I'll use it to just uh, display a message box that says it's a valid IP address let's take for example why would somebody wants to validate want to validate um the IP address maybe it's a school project like once uh, i've been involved in that to develop a chat system in java so i had to i developed a separate server and a separate client so the client had to separately enter the IP address to the server that he wants to connect to before doing the multicast thing so ip validation works well in such applications I know the better ways uh, of doing things but I'm just going to show you anyways so after you download your guava jar you right click on the libraries folder of the application that you're developing and then you locate your guava jar for example here I'm using uh, I just take this one and then you click on open I believe you know how to add additional libraries to uh, Java projects in um on NetBeans or NetBeans rather. So I'll cancel it because I've already uploaded, I've already imported imported my uh, library. So this is my library, and then the class that we're going to be used to to be using uh, is located within the common dot net, and this is the class that we want. Inet addresses dot class addresses es. Mind you, why? Because Java dot net also uh, has init address right so this uh, library added es at the end just to differentiate it rather and to show maybe that this belongs to Google so after that you just import that address you just import that uh, class into your onto your project onto your project rather and then go to them like for me the action performed when this button is clicked I double click it I want to check if it's the valid IP address so I'll just type boolean 
boolean is valid equal to inet address inet address is rather from google dot is inet is inet of what is inet is inet which one the string provided this ips is the string that i've declared just above here which contains the information that has been uh, received from the text box right so is valid is oh by default returning true and the guava uh, the guava library works that way if um it returns true if a given uh, string literal the ip literal uh, is true right so the following line is that is what i'm going to use to show to the user that you've given me um, a valid ip address or not so if is true if is valid so what i'm just saying is if true if true so if it returns true it means the ip address is valid so if true then show to the user that this is a valid ip address right else show to the user that this is an invalid ip address right invalid ip so mind you as you can see <coughs> as you can see just a few lines like one two three four five six about six lines that i've used just to validate an ip address comparing to regex the way i would have to define all that said i know i'm a lazy person and i, I just don't want to tap all that so i would rather use google guava to validate my ip addresses i'd rather use apache commons just to validate my ip addresses but all the result is the same it depends on how fast you are tapping and how patient you are um you know so if i run my application like so this one and then i type something like just a normal i'll get invalid ip address and if i write if i type something like this and this and that i get invalid and then i add again this and that i get invalid ip address and i gain add this and that i'll get a valid ip address this is a valid ip address because it is in the range of the ipv4 addresses so mind you also i'm not so sure about ipv6 because i have never tried it my country i don't know if zimbabwe is good ipv6 i'm in zimbabwe and i'm not so sure about checking out the ipv6 but okay i don't think so so you can check also on the libraries that you want if you want uh ipv6 validation but rather right now um i'm just going to uh the library that i used uh, checks on ipv4 so this is basically ip is valid this basically all you need to do if you want to validate an IP address in your application maybe you have developed uh, the charging system where a user has to specify the IP address over the server he wants to connect to so thank you for watching